Hi there, this is Valentine and welcome to another Postman tutorial. This time I wanted to show you how we can reuse code, especially tests, in multiple requests, but also how to skip a test in case one request doesn't need it. So let's get started. Okay, so I have here this collection and I have, for example, the first request and the returning a status 200, the second one 200 and so on. So instead of going in each and every request and writing a test like status is 200, that will be a lot of repetition, I'll simply get any test or any code that needs to be executed with every request, go inside the collection, click here on edit, and go to the tests and write this test here. Now you can see this request doesn't have any tests, but still if I click on the send button, it will show here test results. So the test has been executed, status is 200. Now, as it always happens, there is one request that has something different. In this case, it's returning a status code of 201 created instead of 200, and for that reason, the test is failing. Now, there are two ways to get around this. First of all, you can create additional folders, and inside of folders, you can put all the requests. You can write the test only at that level, so you can still add here the 200 tests or so on. Well, this may work sometimes. It really makes organizing the collection not so nice. So for that reason, I wanted to show you a different way. Again, I'm going back to editing the collection, going inside tests, and I'm going to use an info object that's available in Postman. And that info object can tell me which is the current request. So in order to use that, I'm going to write pm.info.requestName. If you put this in the console log, you will see the request name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create here an if block and I'm going to check if the current request name isn't request 3, then I'm going to run this test. So let's see how it looks like. So as you can see now, I have the test inside this if block. So this will be evaluated every time the request is executed and the tests are started. For all the other requests which are not called request 3, this code will run. And for request 3, this code will not run. Going back request 1, it works the same. Going back to request 3, you see there are no test results. So I can add here a specific test that is only for this one, just in case this is nicer to have. So I can add specialized tests here and the other requests won't be influenced. This is of course a different way on how we can do this assertion. If you don't like if blocks, you can also use pm.test.skip. And this I'm showing you in a different tutorial, which I'll link you here on top. Make sure you check that out as well. I hope this tutorial was helpful to get you started with reusing code in your collections and also to deal with situations where not all the tests are relevant for our requests. If this was helpful, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more tutorials like this and see you next time at another Postman tutorial.